SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. We are previewing week eight in college football here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak, and we're talking right now with returning guest Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. So it takes a couple of uh, college games that I assign them each week. Uh, right now we're going to discuss uh, Georgia Vanderbilt. I think I'm seeing an edge here. So, Joe, I think that uh, I gave you a gift on this one, an easy one. Joe, thanks for being back with us. Well, thank you, Peter. I don't know if there is such thing as a gift in sports gambling. I know there are touts out there that claim it, but we'll see if we agree. We haven't rehearsed this. We'll see if we do agree. Yeah, we will see. I mean, no, I mean, there's some games and lines where it's like, because I know, I mean, you, for me, you know, I'm just an interviewer. So if I give some opinion that's wrong or whatever, it doesn't matter. But you guys are professional handicappers. You'll get slammed. This is your business. So there's some times when I'm looking at these games and I know that you have to analyze the spread. I'm just like, I feel so bad for you. This one, though, I think I don't feel bad for you at all, because if you agree with me, I think we got some good value. Before we get into it, uh, give a plug for OffshoreInsiders.com. Well, OffshoreInsiders.com, where I'm the anchor handicapper, Joe Duffy's Picks. We've had a great year in college and pro football. We're currently on a 7-2 and two run with our Football Wise Guy plays. We've hit our Fox Sports non-conference game of the year, our ESPN 3 game of the year, and most recently our Big Ten game of the year just last weekend with Wisconsin humiliating Northwestern. This weekend at OffshoreInsiders.com, Joe Duffy's Picks has the college football game of the year. All right. Georgia and Vanderbilt. We know the deal with Georgia, right? High, high expectations for this year. Phenomenal offense they started the year with. A little bit questionable defense, but now they're banged up. You know, a lot of guys banged up uh, on offense at all positions. And I know they do have the, you know, next man up mentality. And for a program like Georgia, that usually does work. How long can they maintain that? I'm not exactly sure. Vanderbilt coming off of a bye, though, and they're a pretty decent Vanderbilt team this year. Right now the line is seven or seven and a half. It was eight, eight and a half yesterday. I bet it uh, on the opener uh, when it came out on Sunday night. I took Vanderbilt. I'm thinking that Vanderbilt right now at plus seven and a half, still a great bet. What do you think, Joe Duffy? No, in this case, we do agree, and it's okay. ironic. On one of our other, other videos that we discussed this week, we discussed the professional sports team from Georgia, and the Georgia Bulldogs and the Atlanta Falcons, a lot of similarities where both teams came in with fantastic players at the skilled position, and both teams are extremely banged up. We'll talk about University of Georgia, where you know they had the great one-two punch of Gershaw, as they call it, in Athens, Georgia. Some uh, college football fans, they should probably know the meaning of that, but Todd Gurley and Keith Marshall. Gurley, we're going to be checking his status. It now looks like he's about 50-50. Um, Keith Marshall is already out for the year. Malcolm Mitchell, of course, was injured in that crazy celebration earlier in the year. He was their best receiver. Michael Bennett is doubtful. So they are just ravaged at these skilled position players. And uh, Vanderbilt, as you said, Vanderbilt this year, their weakness has been in the fourth quarter. So talk about a team that should benefit from the bye week. Georgia is physically and mentally beat up, and now they have to hit the road against a very solid SEC team. The last three years, Vanderbilt's gone from laughing stock to a very competitive team. You're right. The schedule maker did Vanderbilt a big favor here. All right, yeah, there's nothing I can really say to uh, disagree with you. I think we can uh, just agree that we both like Vanderbilt here, and uh, I would still take it at plus 7.5. I didn't already have a bet on it. If it loses, hey, it loses, but uh, I think it's a good pick. Thanks so much, Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thank you, Peter.